Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Thursday prayer and devotional time. If you have your Bibles, turn to Matthew chapter 28, and I'll begin reading verses 1 through 10. Matthew 28, verses 1 through 10, and this is the resurrection of Jesus according to St. Matthew. After the Sabbath, and again, if you remember, for the, for the Jewish people, Sabbath day is uh, on Saturday, Friday night to Saturday. And so this is now Sunday. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was, begin, uh, was dawning, and again, that's Sunday uh, in, in Jewish tradition, the first day of the week was Sunday. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He's not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead. And indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly, with, now listen to this, with fear and great joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go, in, go to Galilee. There they will see me. This is the word of God according to St. Matthew. <clears throat> As we continue our journey through Easter now, uh, and, and Easter will go till Pentecost, I pray that God will be with you and you can experience the resurrection like you've never experienced the resurrection before. I have uh, a couple of prayer requests I'd like to uh, present to you this evening. The first is for John having spinal cord stimulator procedure to hopefully relieve uh, uh, constant pain in his legs. So John, we pray for you and ask God's blessings upon you. For our district superintendent, Reverend Paul Ritchie, he has a pseudo aneurysm had to be seen at the hospital. He's home. In fact, he's back at the church and he's working again, but he's asking for prayers and uh, asking God's healing grace to be upon him. Also, I received a, uh, an email from Jean Lockery for her daughter, Kim, and she said that uh, the other day that she passed out, and I guess that was on uh, the 20th, so that was uh, Wednesday, that she, uh, she passed out and fell yesterday morning. And again, that was Wednesday. Uh, she did get hurt in her fell, but, uh, fall, but she's in Westmoreland Hospital. She doesn't have the flu. She doesn't have COVID. And she uh, is in the cardiac unit. Also, for her son, Dan, he's doing much better. If you remember, he was in the hospital for a stay. And then he's now home, and he's doing better. And again, uh, an update for Kim. Uh, Kim has a blood infection, and they started treatment. Uh, the chills seem to have gone away, but she's weak, and she's uh, not able to get up without assistance. So we continue to pray for her, for Kim, and for Dan, and uh, also for Jean. And this evening, I pray for each and every one of you out there that God would bless you and keep you. And, and again, those who are suffering with all kinds of illnesses and, and just not feeling well, I know I'm still not up to par myself yet. Uh, we continue to pray for you, and I know our church does as well. And if you have a prayer request, please call the church or send me a text or an email message, and I'll put you on the prayer chain. Or like, or like I said, call the church and uh, leave a message or ask uh, Julie or Sarah to put you on the prayer chain, and we will we'll be glad to pray for you. Let's pray this evening. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We've been bombarded with so much uh, rain and, and overcast skies that we just can't wait to see the sun again. And I, I'm hearing that this weekend it's going, going to be beautiful, and especially Sunday, it's going to be pushing 80 degrees. So be with us and take away the gloomy skies and just allow sunshine to shine and allow the spring just to just burst open with the flowers and the trees popping and, and our grass is, is growing and getting greener each and every day. And just allow us to enjoy the springtime. 
And just like last week, we, we experienced the resurrection of Jesus Christ and we celebrated the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We continue to do that through the Easter season. Bless everyone out there who are, who is experiencing issues with health issues, concerns physically, spiritually, and emotionally. We ask your blessings upon us, and we pray for Faith United Methodist Church that you continue to allow us to reach out and touch people in a, in a powerful Christ-like way. And this coming Sunday, in between the two services, 8 o'clock and 10.15, we'll be packing uh, boxes for, uh, for Ukraine, and we thank you, all of you who have been participating in, in helping to make donations to help the people of Ukraine. And again, we pray for President Putin and his government to stop this this nonsense and convict them that this is a sinful act. We pray for Ukraine and the people of Ukraine that you touch them and bless them and just uh, just allow this horrible, sinful, evil act of, uh, of lives being disrupted and hurt and killed uh, to, put, to be put an end to, Father, and all the violence around the world. We pray for our country and we pray for all our churches uh, in our community and, again, around the world. We uplift our Bishop Cynthia Morka Coy, our District Superintendent Paul Ritchie, and this evening I pray for you. Will you join me in the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God bless you, and I'll see you Sunday.